okay so um we are here on your should i say on your screens or on your phones i mean whatever you're using to watch uh, we are here on that thing again my name is coach Kuli, and as i always say i'm here i do this with papa abiku and ujo um, today we are looking at afrobeat there, there, there is this you know i don't go in bruhaha on social media between uh, should i say our neighbors our lovely neighbors our brothers the nigerians and some some key players in our music industry i don't know should i should i say it's a banter or whatever but i'll read them to you then you judge it yourself and then you also share your opinion under the comment section and then papa be cool interact with you so let's go straight and then read what triggered the whole thing so there was a post or a tweet from a certain gentleman uh, which triggered the whole thing let's go and read that one okay so this in pigeon uh -huh. niger afrobeats guys don't hold ghana music hostage take them turn them to afrobeat playground the, no the dominance is clear the king of rap over there is the biggest niger afrobeat ambassador your biggest song says it all brah using afrobeat numbers to challenge rappers so sad <laughs> this is jovi <laughs> hey. is, he, is, is he lying no he's not lying the guy is not lying so this triggered some of our people uh they also uh, I, I wouldn't say they, they 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 came after him no they also shared their their or they established their displeasure on social media um that i have cool and jeff Foley. that i have cool is a musician yeah uh, he's, he's one of you know the finest when it comes to her life one of the finest guys um, you, you 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 find on the internet and also in the industry and jeff Oli is also a veteran broadcaster or let me say a tv host and they they, they also put their thoughts out there that i have course own is quite long i don't know if i should read all but it is quite long so let me let me start with jeff Oli. so jeff Oli was like pause for a second did we really sell the Ghanaian culture to the uh, diaspora in december in gh or we just empowered afrobeat for another market to win for the rest of the year now the real story a ninth club owner doesn't make money from gate proceeds the real money is made by selling the drinks we may be the gateway to africa but we are not the owners of products we sold afrobeats my two cents so this is um jay foley <laughs> this is jay foley uh, and he, he he calls this one his two cents if you read what jovi put out there he even jabbed sarkodie because he said sarkodie is using is now an ambassador <laughs> afrobeat ambassador <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is how i understand um what jeff Foley, um posted he said yes obviously ghana is the gateway to Af uh, africa or west africa ghana is the gateway but then again we we the the, the, the uh, we are not the owners of the afrobeats fact fact people have different you know views about that but me if you ask me we are not we are not let's not fight on let's not fight over something we didn't you know uh, uh, push out there please and if you read his post carefully there's december in gh in it december in gh is uh, uh, is something the government and the the, the ministry of creative uh, arts and culture tourism blah 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 they created just to attract tourists or people into the country during december you know during the festive season and it has been going on for the past three years it has been successful i think one of the biggest innovations this certain government you know uh, 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 has been able to uh, um, 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 put out there one of the biggest both the uh, uh, opposition party whoever they all love it they all love it so it is one of you know their, their biggest achievements 
And if there is December in GH, in Ghana, the GH is Ghana, December in Ghana, and we are, we are playing Afrobeat, or if you check all the big, big, big events, check the musicians who headlined, or who were the headliners, the kind of songs we played at the event, one will ask, what were we propagating? I mean, I'm talking about just ended um, a, a festive season, the events that, you know, were held. What were we propagating? What were we selling to the people who, who, who came from outside? What were we selling to them? Musically, what were we selling to them? Afrobeat everywhere. Any artist that mounted a stage did Afrobeat. Afrobeat everywhere. So, if you, 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 <laughs> you are going to fight over, over this, I don't know how you are going to do it. Now, this is where I have a problem. Or let me, I, I wouldn't say I have a problem. I, 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 I have a different opinion about what that I have posted on social uh, on Facebook. It is long, but I'll try and then read some parts. Um, okay, so he says, I weep within any time I see things like this, but is the person lying? Hell no. He was referring to um, Jovi's post, the one I read earlier before Jefoli's post. So, I weep within any time I see things like, th like this, but is the person lying? Hell no. <laughs> the person is not lying. That's what Dada Havko is saying. So, I've said, I've said time and time again that we would need to chart our own path, else we will continue to stay in other people's shadows. This whole Afro Afro thing is a, a ploy to make it look like Oh, it's African music, blah, blah, blah. And so everyone can jump on it. Nope, it's not. It's rather someone using the entire space to create and claim. And so wherever you might be or find yourself and that name is mentioned, everyone is going to attribute the effort to Nigeria. They are just doing what is right for them. No malice intended. But if we can open our eyes widely enough, and start to chart our own path today. We will sell it to the world and get all the recognition we deserve. And even force all those music sites to include whatever genre we do in their categorization settings. Afrobeat was not part of their music categorization settings earlier, but it is today because they became united and fought for a common cause to speak a revolution. Like the saying goes, brighten the corner where you are and gradually the light will attract everyone else. Years back, when hip life was even vibrant, we still had some, some of our people naming their genres of music, GH rap, others called DS hip dia, some others also called DS hip count, and the list continues. Okay, well, you, let, let me leave it here. It is long, but... I've gotten what I wanted. You see, it is not only about unity. He said something which I agree. The whole thing, the whole thing was and is a deliberate effort, something they sat and planned. Back then, Nigeria was start uh, 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 as 419 country. If you meet somebody and you tell the person, oh, I'm from Nigeria, sharp, the person will leave you there. But today, you can't say same. You can't. They've changed the narrative. So it was, and it is a deliberate something they, they, they sat and thought and planned. And mind you, we can have all the, the conversations around it. You need cash. You need money. Money to back the whole thing. You need money to push the, the agenda, so the whatever. You plan. Do we have that base? Do we have that behind us? No. The, the, the rich people in Nigeria, they are not the same 
<laughs> our, 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 our rich men, our, our, our rich people here are not the same as the Nigerian, the Nigerian rich men. Who, no, 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 no. I beg you, that one dear, don't try. A Nigerian rich man, one man who, one, just one man, single-handedly, can turn the whole thing. The, the person can just, you know, boom, take $500 million. You people, this is what we want these people to do. Go out there. Do, do something. But back home, it's not like that. It is not like that. Common record label, common um, 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 sponsorship, and these small, small, small things, we don't even have. We don't have. So you can have the conversation, have a proper plan, and all that. Where is the money to push it? Where is the money to push it? We have seen, we have heard, we have witnessed so many, many times that people say that when you go out there, like US, Europe, and the rest, a Nigerian could walk to a club, tell the DJ or the club at uh, uh, whoever is in charge, I'm buying this amount of drinks. I want you to play Nigerian songs. You understand? Can we do that? Ganani, he's thinking about uh, uh, how he's going to change the money and send, uh, and, send, and send the money back home. Can we do that? We won't. We won't. In our own clubs, they come here, they go there, they, they, they buy crazy stuff. And you think, me, 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 if I own a club, me, 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 what, a club, if I own a club, and then somebody comes in, hey, I'm buying drinks worth 5,000 CDs or 10,000 CDs, but I want you to play me this song. And you, and, 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 and you say what? I'm, I'm, I'm patriotic, so I should do what? Hey, people do business for money. I'm telling you. People do business for money. So the whole thing is, is, is backed by money. Check Don Jazzy's studio. Have you seen it? To me, it's the finest in Africa. Check the studio the guy has built. The, the rumor, the rumor, the rumor circulating says there is somebody in Nigeria who has given him money, huge sums of money, millions of dollars to facilitate those things and push the guys. Now, Rema is the most streamed act, African artist on Spotify. Rema is Don Jazzy's artist. Can our people do that? Can we have any rich man in Ghana here that will call Bola Ray? Bola, I have a million dollars. Or let me say $500,000. Sign two artists, push them. Can we do that? No. We don't have that people here. We don't. So, let us have go. Yes, you are right. We can also do blah blah. But the point is, we need some engine. We need some engine to back the whole idea. It has to be deliberate. You can't just sit here, record her life, and think it will travel. No. Not too long ago, uh, American um, music awards, they've included Afro beats uh, uh, into their categories. They've included it. What do you think? Ogun said it. Ogun said it. It is money. It will shock you that somebody even paid. It is money. It is money. When the video and the likes were paying $20,000 doing songs with uh, 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 Mick Mill and these people, you think they were joking? Now Afrobeat is everywhere. To the point that some Americans w uh, w want to be recognized as Nigerians because of Afrobeat. Because of Afrobeat. Now, as he, he, he rightly said, Grammys, they are thinking about it. To in, either, either, either to include um, 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 Afrobeat in their categories. You think it's a joke? Something went into it. It's not just, you know, brains, ideas, blah, blah, blah. blah. No, money, 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 money. But the Bible even says money answered all things. Money go, money went into it. Money went into it. So now, if you're a Nigerian, you sit back and you feel proud because they are not uh, 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 recognized as 419 people anymore. Anymore, I'm telling you. When you mention Nigeria, not even football, when you mention Nigeria, it's now music, Afro beats, music, Afro beats, and now they are they, they are they are they are competing with. You know, uh, 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 the Americans, uh, the Europeans, the guys are doing 
amazingly well. Trust me. If even if you check um, Netflix, if you check Netflix, go and count the number of Nigerian movies there. They've created a, a, a Netflix Nollywood. Netflix Nollywood. These guys, these guys are no joking. They understand business. Even when you attend events which has um, Nigerian artists and Ghanaian artists, check the performance. Check the preparation and the performance. It is like the Nigerians are doing business. They are doing business. But our people do music for fun. That's how I see it. That's, it's like we don't do plowback. We don't, we don't invest in ourselves. Only few. Only few do that in Ghana here. Only few. We don't invest in ourselves. It's so, it's so unfortunate that we don't have record labels here. But then, I mean, the little that you also get. I understand, yes, Poppy and Mommy go chop. But Charlie, it is the craft that fetches you money. It is the craft. So, that I have go. It is not like we don't want to see our hair life flying up out there. No. But the point is, where is the engine? And don't blame the young chaps. Don't blame them for, for, for joining the Afrobeat train. They, they are doing what is trending. I'm telling you. They are doing what is trending. The likes of Kidi, um, Kamido, Kim Promise, Jackie. They are doing what is trending in the world what the world is you know uh, consuming that's what they are doing and that every every every, every businessman uh, you know uh, uh, looks out for what you know is selling i'm telling you so you can't fault them for all you know some of them have recorded her life or they have done her life they dropped and the uh, you know consumption was very low and definitely it will discourage them it would discourage them. It would diminish their interest in her life. So please, it is not like, uh, you know, we are not, we, 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 are, we, are, we are cool with what has happened. But either the government, either the government must have a deliberate agenda. I have, you know, um, 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 I have put this amount of money on the table. You people should uh, gather yourselves bring to me you know a proposal let me see how far or how you guys are going to do the whole thing and then take this money send her life out there or some rich men we have a lot of rich guys here some rich men can come together or one person can even tell the whole the whole story mm? it's not only uh, he's looking some ground you people can also you know tend to ask more because sometimes when they mention ghana we know some of the fans not only football as well so that i have go <laughs> you you you've you've spoken well but the the problem the actual problem on the grounds is lajan lajan i'm telling you an engine you don't have that engine i'm telling you so if we want to lament for people to come in and then that's fine we should just the few rich men that you know some of you know how you, you think you can lure them into the game just talk to them. There has to be an agenda. And when you're done with drawing the agenda or drawing the plan, you must have that engine to send you out there. My name is Coach Koli and Papa Beku and Ojo, they're always behind me. And please, 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 once again, kindly subscribe. Don't just watch and go. Kindly subscribe to the channel. Share for people to also uh, uh, subscribe or see what we do here. Let's meet again next time. Bye.